beginning farrier apprenticeship program on the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation began as a small idea but quickly grew into a successful course. Nine area participants partook in the extensive two-week class taught by Mike Olson and Brooks Barnum in Kyle, South Dakota on the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation. The program was sponsored by South Dakota State University Extension Service and the Beginning Farmer Rancher Development Program in cooperation with the USDA. Dr. Rebecca Bott and Angie Gebhardt hope to increase equine welfare on South Dakota reservations by starting the South Dakota Equitarian Initiative, which combined the terms equine and humanitarian. Each participant had a unique reason for participating in the program, and each person walked away from it with a new perspective and understanding of the skills and knowledge of a farrier. And I'm here to, to learn about how to trim my own horses, and I have seen a lot of other people's horses that hooves are bad, and I want to learn how to do it. I've tried it, and I'm kind of kind of shaky about trying to cut the trim the hooves and I'm just here to learn. What, what I've learned and what I've done to my horses and stuff now I'm pretty sure they're traveling better, they, they feel better about how they're walking because there was a few of them that, that were really bad off and I, I got them pretty much correct in. That any one of the nine participants this week could go out and do horses if they, they so choose, but uh, it's one of those deals that uh, it's whatever a person wants to do with the business themselves. And from the time on Monday evening working with those horses and compared to what we did on Wednesday, we could see a big change in their attitudes, uh, being able to work with horses, uh, abilities that changed a lot just in those couple of days. So if they continue on, uh, they're on the right road to being able to work with a horse and trimming it properly. Seems like it's awful hard to get a farrier out every now and then of six to eight weeks. So I uh, do my own kind of, <laughs> and I want to make sure that I'm doing it correctly. Here to pick up some experience. Uh, about every one of my family members has horses, and there's a lot of people in the area that have them. So. Mm. Found the first week very uh, educational. Um, I felt uh, when I went home, I felt more confident what I was doing. This has been a great experience on our part, Brooks and mine, uh, Dr. Bott and Angie, in coming here and presenting this program to the participants here in the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation. What, after their comments now, it's very pleasing to hear what they've done and accomplished over the last two weeks. I'm here mainly to learn more about the hook, the different type of sicknesses horses can get with the hook, um, and learn how to take care of them. The first week was uh, really educational and um, having uh, not only going through the book and the academic part of it, of it um, but the hands-on was really excellent. Yeah, no, it's been our pleasure and stuff to be here to help you guys and uh, it's been a little experience but it's all been positive so it uh, couldn't, couldn't be happier to be here. Uh, you know, working with working with everybody here and your your guys' drive and ambition and enthusiasm. It's it's been great for both of us. So couldn't couldn't thank you more for, for being good participants for us. And like I said at the beginning, I hope that and I'm know what you done from the first week as compared to what we were doing yesterday, you're all on the right path. It's just a matter of repetition. The more you do, the better you're gonna get. Other than that, this class has been really nice, and you people have been been pretty pretty good. And I think it's going to open up some opportunities for me personally. Um, 
hands-on experience is great because they come around and help you and they show you. Uh, Educational wise, you know, understanding, you know, the, you know, the toe in, cut in, the um, toe out, cut out is actually um, come into some play. Participants in the Furrier Apprenticeship Program certainly increase their equine welfare. Music